You know when you're walking around your town or in a mall and you see a brand new store. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but if you have heard of it, you're very excited for it to open. You like everything that they have, you've always purchased online, and now that they're physically there, you just wanna get in and buy a little bit of everything. That's kinda how I feel with this unboxing. Now, what I have today is one of the first wallets made by Ryan Shepard over at Relic Made Co. and his partner have come together to bring out a really awesome design. They sent it over to me a couple of weeks ago and I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to make sure to record this video and kind of share their story and share this new design. So it's still in its early stages, so packaging is very, very straightforward, but Ryan was kind enough to send one over for review, for honest feedback, and you guys know that I'm all about that, as well as just kind of sharing some of his work. You know, I feel like in the EDC space, there's more than enough room for everybody to get something out there, and it's just really exciting to see some of your community peeps, some of your friends, really showcasing their artistic work through something like leather or knife making or creating a coin. So what we have here is called the Glyph Wallet. It is a vertical wallet that they sent over. What's really exciting about it too is that I was able to chat with Ryan a little bit more and dive in a little deeper. So I kind of want to share some of that story with you guys. But first, let's get to the wallet and get some honest feedback going. Let's get some general thoughts. And there's a note. See what this note says. What if I one day get a note that says something like really awful? <laughs> like, here's your fucking wallet, enjoy. Um, that would never happen, but just thought it'd be funny. Uh, Ricky, may I deeply, uh, man, I deeply appreciate your support of my work from day one. It's in cursive and it's like small cursive, so forgive me. I can read cursive and I write cursive as well. It's just a little small. Um, man, I deeply appreciate your support of my work from day one. I can't tell you how much it means to me to have a friend like you out there in the community. I hope you enjoy the Glyph wallet and I hope you love it enough to buy from us again. Let me know what you think. Ryan and Charles, Relic Made Co. So that's his partner, Charles. They're working together on making awesome leather goods. So the Glyph wallet. This is it here. And right off the bat, I really dig the rugged look. Something that I deeply, deeply enjoy about leather wallets is the stitching. Um, to me, the stitching gives it either a very clean aesthetic or a very rugged aesthetic. And with the Glyph wallet, the stitching is very thick. It looks just kind of rough. And I really, really enjoy that. I feel like it ties in the wallet really, really well. So this is the Glyph wallet here. As you see the thick stitching on the side, fairly thick wallet, not too, too bad. And boom. Now the design is inspired by Mayan architecture, uh, something that Relic, the Relic brand does really well or they want to do really well is showcase that these wallets are something that you're gonna own for the rest of your life and hand down to your children. Hence the word relic. They want it to be something that can be passed down from generation to generation. Now, as far as its inspiration, it's inspired by architecture. That's something that Ryan is deeply, deeply passionate about. So this is inspired after Mayan architecture. And maybe there are other models down the line will be inspired by other things, other architectures around the world. But right off the bat, guys, I really enjoy it. I think it's a very, very sturdy wallet. I like the design that you do have this front pocket with, you know, showcasing your wallet. I know that Ryan mentioned that it could be something where you can just kind of slide your wallet up, which I think is super useful. I think a lot of those wallets that have that kind of lever system that lifts it up, I think that looks a little tacky and it brings a lot of bulk to the wallet. If you own one of those, no disrespect, it's just my personal opinion. Um, on the pocket, on the back side of the wallet, you have the same kind of cutout here, so you can slide your card up, or you can even put maybe cash back there or receipts. I typically use those wallets or these pockets for receipts, and then on the inside, you have a big old pocket to throw some cards into. Now, I asked Ryan what were some of the things that he learned throughout his process, and something that stood out to me as a new maker is the trial and error of it. You know, creating a design, sending it out for feedback, letting people know that you are creating something powerful, and then taking that feedback and growing. I think a lot of the times when it comes to feedback, some people get too defeated by it and they end up giving up. But 
Ryan has been working very hard on this Relic wallet, his other brand, Oath and Honor as well. And it's just nice to see him take all that feedback and use it to create something incredible. So I'm thoroughly happy with this wallet. I think the design is very nice. Um, I'm actually gonna put it through its paces and take it with me in the next week or so to see how it performs. And if you guys wanna see a follow-up video to this one, let me know in the comments down below by liking, by subscribing, and by commenting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really looking forward to checking out more of Relic brand or uh, Relic Made Co's work. If you guys wanna check them out, links are gonna be down below. Thank you guys for watching and catch you guys in the next one.